Uh oh, it's another unscripted game oriented rant. Um, um, don't you love that word? Um, I'm disappointed that there haven't been more games that that do that. I know this sounds weird, but that do unrealistic things with physics on purpose, like you know, or gravity, gravity physics. Have some game where. Like, everywhere you stand is where gravity is for you. So, if something was to happen and you were to, character was to change like this, well, now, now you're, you're, now you're walking this way. You know, some game like that. There have been some games that, that do mess with that a little bit, but they, well, they always remain one player, and that's always kind of disappointed me. You know, I would love to see a, a multiplayer game you know, like a deathmatch or a king of the hill or whatever types, you know, all these different types of multiplayer, first person shooter types of, of things. But in an environment where you could look over and someone is running on the wall and you have to, you have to, you, you know, your, your tactics would be different. So many things would be different when, you, when you're doing this. And you could have, you could have almost. With that kind of engine, you could create an Escher-like level if you wanted to. I mean, there's just so many weird things you could do with different gravity physics. Alternate gravity physics. You know, I wish Portal... I wish Portal... They, I wish they would have offered, like... It would have been so cool to me to be able to play, uh, uh, you know the Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, or Counter-Strike, or one of those using the portal gun. And every character has, you know, one... Uh, uh, imagine if every character had a portal gun. Now, granted, this would probably be hell on the processor, and it would probably take a really, really heavy-duty computer to be able to handle, but, man, that would just be a blast to me. Other things that, that you just don't see are games where you have to, the goal of the game is to figure out what you are and what you're doing i mean then once you figure that out you know there could be there could be some more things maybe that you have to figure out maybe then then you have to figure out what your quest is and then it's 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 not just the quest isn't just given to you you have to figure it out you know just i don't know um, there, there aren't very many of those types of games. In, in the 80s, there used to be a lot of games that were just really surreal. I mean, most of the time they were surreal because they didn't have the graphics to actually be able to do what they wanted, but it's still, the games were just surreal. And we never really go for that. Everything is always trying to be so realistic. Everything has to be real. And it's like, well... What if we use all of these these kind of graphics that we have, all these capabilities that we've got, to just pull off something just totally surreal? Just, just... There are so many strange kind of puzzle games, 3D puzzle games that, that could be made that, like... God, how do I explain? Well, anyway, there's just there's just so many things that 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 could be done that 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 make you think differently to play the game. There's there's so many things that could be done, but it's just it's just all been the same thing like 10 years. 10 years and it's just the same thing over and over and over. Oh, look, we have better graphics. Well, who cares? It's the same game. I don't know. I just I'm rambling, but I just, um, yeah, I just guess I wanted to get that off my chest. I think games could be so much more than they are, but, eh, not everyone, uh, gets bored with stuff like I do, so.